we have to pay anyway because they keep them on and secure. So we're very fortunate to get uh, the top man, I think, in, in Massachusetts to do the job for us. Yale also went through the bid documents, uh, selecting mules just to make sure they didn't miss anything. And uh, he spent a few days doing that. And they appear to be right on target. I would also tell you, you're looking at financial numbers here. We ended up with a Cadillac product for the field as well. Uh, to our surprise, seven or, or eight of the yeah, ten eight. bids all had the Cadillac. That would be the field you'd see at Gillette Stadium, a lot of the Division I schools, college uh, schools across the country. Uh, we were very surprised to Is see the that. the same thing that you passed around? same reason. They have their own people. They have their own team. They have their own equipment. And they have been slow. So, again, to keep the people busy and keep everybody working. Uh, and they had lost some local bids <coughs> also to maybe the number two and number three people in the area. And I think this is just a good time for them to show we're here, we're around, we can give a good number. And when seven out of seven or eight out of ten came up with the same, you know, same company, we know he gave a low number to everybody in there. <coughs> good. Thank you. Uh, I have a Mr. Chairman, <coughs> I move to award the bid for the North Reading High School Athletic Facilities Improvements to RAD Sports of Rockland, Mass. For the bid amount of one million six hundred and sixty-eight thousand dollars. Second. Motion by Mr. Yule, second by Mr. O'Leary. All in favor? Aye. 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 See that unanimity on the issue. My <laughs> goal is to have the Thanksgiving football game as scheduled here in North Reading. That would be fantastic. And have some of the old timers with the old leather helmets, like Chuck Carucci, run out. <laughs> That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see him run out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bowman. Thank you, Vita. Vita, good job. Thank you for your support. Okay. Have a good night. That's fine. We have other things on our agenda. We, we just actually just got off a plane from Jackson. <laughs> right, I didn't expect <laughs> <Yeah>. to see. <laughs> okay. Now we will uh, go back to a discussion of town owned land, which we did skip over. members to review. As you know, it's been um, extensively revised over the years um, to reflect the various amendments that board members have put forth. It's fairly stringent in terms of um, actual selling of municipal property. Um, we, uh, the last time we tried to sell property was approximately two years ago. My recollection was that we, uh, we put uh, approximately four to five parcels on the open market. We advertised, we put bids. And then in the end, uh, no one ended up bidding on the property. The, the uh, reasons for it were the fact that the individuals who wished to purchase it wished to purchase it at a price um, which was different than what the uh, minimum amounts that were called for via the policy. At this point, uh, what we have done is we've uh, circulated the listing of town property to all of the different boards and committees. Uh, those boards and committees have indicated whether it is a partial board of or not, you see a, a, a lengthy list that is here that's attached with that. We also have um, the next phase will be um, not this evening, but at the next meeting uh, to share with you um, any letters that we will receive from individuals who will be expressing interest in property. We do probably have a few of those that we collect over the course of the year, and again, the normal procedure for disposal of those is <coughs> uh, solicitation of public hearings. I have a suggestion. Uh, if this was sorted a little differently, it might be very helpful. Uh, there's a lot of items that are just no interest. If we could have a list of 
no interest. And then have a list of <coughs> the interested ones by department. I know in some cases there's a couple that uh, show that there's more than one group that's interested. Then I think we could have a discussion with departments that have interests and make a determination of what the interest is and why we're, we're holding that. In the meantime, everything that no one has any interest on, we ought to, again, go back through and, and put a, a program together to see if, in fact, if uh, we're comfortable with uh, selling some of this land. I, I do notice one thing here. It was this year around, at least, a lot of the departments that had interest seem to have been removed. gather this is on an Excel spreadsheet or something. Mm -hmm. <coughs> seem to each, each year that we've brought this forth, uh, very little has been done about it. I think it's time to get some of these parcels back on the tax roll. But I think it needs a policy change too. I don't think we can be looking for assessed value or 90% set value. I don't think that is going to be accomplished. I think the goal should be not so much what we get on the purchase price, but to get it back on the tax roll. <coughs> take a look at changing that policy <coughs> in terms of what the minimum bid that's acceptable. The guideline would be more to look at you know, over a period of time, you know, what the benefit of the town is right. to right. dispose of the property. Yes. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't have a problem with changing our policy. Uh, Steve and I were on the board when this was done, and I, I know I voted against this policy. I don't recall what Mr. O'Leary, you voted no. Okay, so it was three to two. Um, be, but what did happen back there, just to give you other board members a little background, you, you know, we would sell a parcel, say of almost equal size, maybe for 3000 and then the next one we wanted 4500 for whatever reason. And we were getting, why did I have to pay three? You know, and why did I have to pay 45 when they only paid three? But I'm, I thought it worked fairly well, and, and nothing's perfect. But I'm certainly open to a policy change if, if the board or the TA or so, somebody wants to come up with to draft up something. <clears throat> Given the current policy, I don't think we'll ever sell, sell one parcel of town home land. <coughs> we'll be sitting on these for years to well, come. The vote was three to two. And not getting, <laughs> not getting a diamond tax I, I, for I agree. I agree. I, I think if we could, and I, appreciate I don't appreciate the history. Yeah, I understand yeah, why that, it was, yeah, and that's why it was done because well, it would sell almost two equal parcels, maybe on opposite sides of the town. One might go for two thousand, and the other one, we, we, you know, we might right. want four thousand or five thousand. So, <coughs> but you can justify why one parcel. Yeah, we. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you can. Sometimes you sometimes can. can. Sometimes, sometimes, can. sometimes we yeah. couldn't. Sometimes you could. And again, some people had some legitimate uh, concerns and arguments put forth as you know why was I. Why was the minimum price set at this level as opposed to that one over there? I bought that one that has more square footage than this one for more than that, you know. Yeah. So it gets a little bit, it gets a little bit hairy at times, but, but you know, in all the years that I've been sitting here, uh, does it have part, the board does what they think is in the best interest. Does it have to be a, a minimum bid? Only by policy. Only by, by, I mean, do, I have attempted in the past to waive policy unsuccessfully. <laughs> in order to sell them for less. Uh, well, I, I, I'd like to get back to uh, original state. I'm sorry, Bob. I didn't sorry. mean to get off. No, no, track. no. no. I'm just, I I'm just trying to give on. a little history right to Right on. I'd you know, just like to get back to the, the idea of, you know, we had this long list, right? And you know, sometimes it's difficult to deal with long lists. So 
what I'd like to do is to get this list broken down into some pieces. And starting with, I think that's let's what take all the land that no one has interest in. I mean, you know, the, the uh, housing uh, partnership, the housing authority, conservation, CDC, Fox and Rec, LUC, finance, school, and DPW. Let's get that list. Because to me, then there's no issues with trying to find a buyer for the land, short of finding out where it is and whatever. The conservation land, I think that the conservation has a, a, uh, an interest in it and there's a lot of yeses, right? Then perhaps we ought to look at that from the, and talk to them about, you know, why. I, I assume it's probably <coughs> wetland and it, it, it has no value. In which case then, turn the land over to conservation right. and be done Get it with off this list. Makes sense. Right. What, what, again, from a, from a historical standpoint, the, the boards in the past have been reluctant to put some of these parcels, even though conservation has expressed an interest in it, have been reluctant to put it in conservation because in order to get it out, it literally can't come back to the legislature to take it out of conservation. And there may have been some other people who were interested, other parties interested, or the town, from a general government standpoint, they just want to hold on to it rather than <coughs> a, a conservation restriction on it. No, but if, I, if you right. took the list, of those that conservation is interested in, then I think we could have a productive meeting with conservation and determine, you know, their top priorities and why. And you know, maybe maybe we don't turn 100 percent of them over. Maybe we only turn 10 percent over. But then at least there's a reason. And then you can say, okay, these are in this category, and uh, at least we've accomplished something. I feel over the five years I've been on the board. We've yeah. accomplished nothing. <laughs> if, I, if I could, Bob, um, I just scanned through this quickly. There's 12 parcels that have no interest from anybody. So that's not going to be a hard thing to do. There's 12 parcels mm -hmm. out of every page that everyone said no interest on. Really? Well, conservation yes. only said no interest on like 25. Yeah, well. Yeah, they have an interest well, but I mean, okay. going by your. And, uh, and, and, I'm sorry. I, no, 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 no. I agree with what you want to do. There's 12 parcels that across the board said no interest. And what does NR mean, Greg? No, no response. response. No response. No response. Well, they should have to respond. Well, I say no, no response. No response. No we did that. Right. Right. Yeah. That's it. Not interested. Yeah. Same thing. Which would increase the number problem. No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I, 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 I took, I took NR as no response. This, this 12. I may have missed the one. Well, I think we need to come up with a, a method, a methodology of uh, <coughs> dealing with this issue. I'm just tired of looking at the list every year. No, I, no, oh, Bob, you know. I agree. No, no, Mr. Chair, I agree. I think what we should probably try to do, uh, in working on your same theory, is to get conservation and find out what their interest is in all these classes. You know, in, in some of these other ones too, where, where because they're eighty percent of the list. You know, the housing partnership has an interest in something that's you know a thousand square feet. You know, yeah. I have no idea what you can build at a thousand square feet. Yeah, right. You I know, don't, I don't know. So that yeah, which would question you know what? And again, it might be th th these three or four parcels may be about it. I'm just looking at the bottom row here. This three or four says yes, 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 yes. Now they may be all about it. So if you put them all together, maybe you can get something out of it. Mm -hmm. But again, without right. that. Yeah. Then, you know, maybe the first step would be to in, <coughs> have a, a discussion or send a note off uh, to housing partnership and get the list sorted so that we've got all their yeses and have a discussion with them and find out just what should be taken off of their list. Uh, the, the other thing is, I mean, I know conservation is familiar with the, the conservation map. I'm not so sure that some of these other uh, boards that are looking at this, they're looking at a strip you know, from a square footage standpoint. Like uh, that some of the ones that the housing partnership is looking at or has an interest in may not be buildable. You know, right. I think that's what needs to be sorted out a little bit so that all of a sudden the interest in some of these things, well, from a square footage standpoint, it might be something of use. It, it, you can't do anything with it. I mean, you just slide it over to conservation. And we should need to, need to make that determination or had them get together, or the building inspector say, you know, there's no potential